we have indeed James and isn't this spectacular? There is the little prince sitting atop the treehouse dam wall. It's a little Hosanna whose tracks I found just after you, we last were with you and here's we're going north. So it seems like him and Shungila were together and Shungila's tracks headed back towards Twin Dams and his came north up Weaver's Nest and I was pretty sure that he might head this way so we came towards Twin Dam, I mean to Treehouse Dam and look at that, he's lying right out in the open, just surveying his territory and watching over his water hole. He loves this particular area. I've seen Hosanna here countless times. He loves to sit atop the dam wall and watch what goes on at the water hole. And there's lots of terrapins and varying other things that occupy his mind here. And so it's a good place for him to come and see. It's also a place where Karula used to bring them quite often. And so he's quite at home with being in this area. But it is such a sight to see him in this beautiful early morning light and he's just sitting there looking ever so regal isn't he getting massive as well look at the size of his head and his neck these days he's getting huge when we first came down i thought it might be an adult female but he's already gotten much bigger and such a beautiful cat and he's looking so healthy i'm very very impressed he's obviously completely unscathed from his little encounter with tingana the other night so for those of you who aren't aware he had a Impala kill close to Vuatela camp and Tangana came in and there was a bit of a scuffle I believe and there was sort of sounds of them getting into an argument but he looks absolutely fine he's got a very healthy coat there's no signs of any scratches or scars or cuts anywhere around there so he's looking spectacular at this stage and look at that coat he's got such a rich golden coat you often find this with male leopards is that they'll end up getting a much more sort of gold color than what the the females do the females are often a little bit lighter but his coat in this morning light is exquisite now i believe a lot of you are very happy to see little hosanna and i am too it's been a while since i've seen him and he looks incredible he's looking much bigger than when the last time i saw him so really really glad that we've managed to find him and hopefully we'll be able to spend most of the morning with him i would imagine as that sun now starts to rise it's going to get warm on his back and that might get him up and moving Maybe we'll see him trying to hunt some terrapins around Treehouse Dam, but it promises to be such a good morning, and I'm so excited that we managed to find him. I was saying to Senzo, there's leopard tracks everywhere this morning, and they've been walking up and down, and so it's nice that we actually were able to find him and got lucky that he was sitting right out in the open, and he is posing beautifully. Now, I think I might just reposition just now. The problem is the sun is behind him, so if we go down towards the water, it's going to be difficult to be able to actually see him but we're going to try and see if I can't get a better view so we can actually see his face oh hello Hosanna good morning isn't he beautiful you're looking a bit dopey this morning my boy but he is getting so big and he's got that typical sort of Karula male offspring look they all look quite similar to me so Mishu and Duna Shivambalan Quarantine Kunuma they've all got that very kind of boxy face absolutely beautiful now we are going to spend most of the morning like i said with this male leopard and see what he gets up to and while we do that i believe jamie's got something slightly more delicate to show all of you so Hosanna is isn't that beautiful he's being backlit by this early morning rising sun and the grass is catching all of that light and the edge of his coat and he looks so so beautiful up on this damn wall is such a nice image watching him just watching and seeing what's going on now he has stood up and he's looking around so I don't think he's going to be there for too much longer he might give us a big yawn he's oh what have you seen Hosanna seems like he's going into a bit of a stalk mode you can see he's very interested in something his ears have perked forward his head is lowered slightly and he's looking as though he's a lot more aware of something i wonder if maybe there isn't something that's approaching the water hole you sometimes will find at this time of the day that some of the animals like impalas and kudu will come and have an early morning drink and i wonder if maybe one of them is not on its way that he's noticed because he's definitely gone into a sort of stalking posture where he's watching very carefully see look he's now slinking off oh no big yawn for image with the light coming through the grass amazing hello my boy he's looking so good and look his tummy looks quite full as well he doesn't look as though he's too skinny so 
he's definitely taken to being in a solitary cat very very well now we are going to try and reposition because he's gone behind us and through a big thick bush where, I wonder where he's off to because this is exactly the same way he got here he walked in the exact same route so I think maybe he's going to head now down towards twin dams so let's see he's busy bounding away through the long grass as Hosanna often does now it's quite interesting that every time that I've seen him here and he comes this way he takes this little shortcut and then he's going to pop out in front of us and this is where we had him the other day where he was stalking that scrub hair and he got so close to the scrub hair and ended up missing it I don't know why he actually didn't even jump towards the scrub hair it was so close um, but he ended up kind of fluffing it and missing the scrub hair but it's the same exact movement that he makes now lost him here somewhere but he must be close by oh, there he is where are you going Hasana? now while we try and keep up with this lip and see where he goes to go back across to James and see what his plans are for the morning and see whether or not he's had any luck finding a spotted or rather large cat for that matter he is indeed he's just come up onto a little fallen log and he is posing perfectly and he's busy scratching getting those claws nice and sharp generally being a little hooligan now back into the long grass we go so every now and then he's giving us these beautiful visuals where he jumps up on seems to be moving quite quickly through the grass and it's been interesting to watch him because Hosanna is probably one of the most relaxed leopards that I've dealt with as a small young male and generally young males can be quite shy but he's to this morning seems a little bit sort of weary he's walking quite quickly away from the vehicle when it starts and then he starts to kind of calm down once it follows him for a little bit but he's showing sort of more and more that he's aware of the fact that he's now under sort of threat that mom is not around you can see that he's a little bit more wary of what's going on around him and that's probably because of that it's the incident he had with Tingana he knows now that Tingana is starting to see him in a bit of a different light it's no longer sort of this male leopard that's tolerant of his presence he's now getting into a situation where Tingana is starting to see him as more of a threat and so that's why he'll be a little bit more cautious about what's going on and keep his distance from certain things like the vehicles um, just in case they come out now I'm going to try and see if we can't find a better place because he's gone behind a tree there as you can see and let's just try to see if we can't position ourselves slightly better but that was very nice of him to go on this big fallen log here it was perfect perfect place with that morning sunshine on his golden coat so so special now I'm hoping because we are moving slowly in a southeasterly direction it would be nice if he joins up with Shongile I'm just going to try and negotiate this big thicket so you can see he's a little bit kind of wary he keeps trotting off a little bit as we get sort of alongside him which means he's I'm a little bit nervous of the car at this stage. I don't want to push him too much. I'm just going to give him a bit of space and see where he goes to. He's just gone behind this little tree area here. There you can see him through the thicket. I wonder where he's going to head from here. I was hoping that he was going to head a little bit more sort of east of where we are and maybe try and see if he finds little Shongile. It would be nice to see the two of them together again. But I don't think he actually knows where he wants to go. He's kind of trotting about everywhere and he's looking into all the trees and I think he's going to settle there so let's try and see if we can't get ourselves into a place where we can actually see him so Kim you're wondering if Hosanna would be making big kills yet well yes indeed he killed an impala a few days ago close to Voyotela camp and then he's also, we know, it's killed one or two impalas in Little Gauri. So he's made quite a number of kills at this stage. And so he's just fine. He'll be making quite large kills. I believe the one kill that he made in Little Gauri was an adult male impala. So that's very, very good for him. And if he's already started to get this technique where he's catching impalas, he's going to be just fine. So he's big and strong enough now to pull down those sort of sized animals in comparison to Shongila who's still a little bit smaller she struggles a bit to be able to pull down something of that size so he is just fine and you can see he looks in perfect condition he's been without his mom now for it's over two months and yet he's still perfect he's 
got healthy body mass. He's not in any way skinny. You can see his neck is growing. So he's doing just fine. Like I say, he's taken to this single life and looking after himself like a duck to water. And he's done really, really well. So it's good to see that his mom obviously taught him very well. Do you watch you're wondering how much longer until he mates well that's dependent on where he ends up and how life goes for Hosanna if, if he gets pushed out of this area and ends up being a nomadic male for a while he can go until even six seven years old before he's able to mate um, but if we look at sort of quarantine and Kunyuma and and Shivambalana they all sort of managed to get a territory fairly young and we're really mating by about four and a half five years so he's still got quite a while to go you must remember that Hassan now is only about i think he's about just over 16 months 17 months i forget where we are now we're in may so 17 months um so he's still a young male he's still got probably about two years to go before he's actually big enough to start challenging and take over any mating rights so it's not going to be any time soon but we will see where he ends up and how he ends up going and whether or not he can find himself a territory in this area that he is able to settle quite quickly or if he's going to have to be quite nomadic and end up quite far away now we're going to try and see if i can't reposition so we can see his face without all these big grass stalks and while we do that i believe james has got something else that is glistening in the sunshine that he would like to show you